man who is not embarrassed by himself knows little of men. I had to remove knowledge in order to make room for belief. Rules for happiness, something to do, someone to love, something to hope for. In law, a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. In ethics, he is guilty if he only thinks of doing so. He who is cruel to animals becomes hard also in his dealings with men. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. Two things fill the mind with ever-increasing wonder and awe, the more often and the more intensely the mind of thought is drawn to them, the starry heavens above me and the moral law within me. Act only according to that maxim whereby you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. Always recognize that human individuals are ends, and do not use them as mere means to your ends. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. Morality is not properly the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. All our knowledge begins with the senses, proceeds then to the understanding, and ends with reason. There is nothing higher than reason. I had to deny knowledge in order to make room for faith. It is beyond a doubt that all our knowledge begins with experience. Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. Do not weep. Do not wax indignant. Understand. All thought must, directly or indirectly, by way of certain characters, relate ultimately to intuitions, and therefore, with us, to sensibility, because in no other way can an object be given to us. Immaturity is the incapacity to use one's intelligence without the guidance of another. Out of timber so crooked as that from which man is made, nothing entirely straight can be carved. Nothing is divine but what is agreeable to reason. All the interests of my reason, speculative as well as practical, combine in the three following questions. 1. What can I know? 2. What are I to do? 3. What may I hope? It is not God's will merely that we should be happy, but that we should make ourselves happy. All metaphysics is a phantom of the brain. Two things on me most, the starry sky above me and the moral law within me. Science is the knowledge of phenomena, and art is the knowledge of the causal connection between phenomena. Live your life as though your every act were to become a universal law. From such crooked wood as that which man is made of, nothing straight can be fashioned. Thoughts without content are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind. All human knowledge begins with intuitions, proceeds from thence to concepts, and ends with ideas. I can always know in advance that anything I say will be a priori. So act that your principle of action might safely be made a law for the whole world. Out of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing was ever made. A categorical imperative would be one which represented an action as objectively necessary in itself, without reference to any other purpose. Nature is beautiful because it looks like art, and art can only be called beautiful if we are conscious of it as art while yet it looks like nature. The possession of power unavoidably spoils the free use of reason. Man must be disciplined, for he is by nature raw and wild. To be human is not a fact but a task. Seek not the favor of the multitude, it is seldom got by honest and lawful means. But seek the testimony of few, and number not voices, but weigh them. The desire which a man has for a woman is not directed towards her because she is a human being, but because she is a woman. That she is a human being is of no concern to the man, only her sex is the object of his desires.